Yeah, 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 welcome back. This is the Kickoff FC show. This is your boy, right? 2012, and that's your boy. Rumba. And you already know, man, we talking about everything Manchester United today. Not Crystal Palace, yes, because you see the eagle on his shirt. <laughs> he left his jersey. We're in the offseason. We're yeah. in the beaches of Cancun <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, man, we're going to talk about some stuff in the news, but actually today we want to talk about Ten Hag and Inos and Manchester United yeah. not yeah, making fuck. a decision on anything yet, and it's all just up in the air. But anyway, before we jump into that, Don Roomba got a message for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, smash subscribe, and the notification bell. You know, hear me? I tell you, tap in, man, catch your vibe. You already know, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe what he said man mm -hmm. yeah anyway we talking about ten hag you know so i don't know man ten hag there has been fun. no decision made on ten hag yeah there's been nothing no, no updates word, no, no updates nothing. only update i heard was that he's on vacation somewhere i mean they talked yeah. to a new coach a potential before the fa cup final after the fa cup final we've heard nothing no interviews no nothing so it seems that they're leaning towards staying with him, but who knows at this point? You know what I'm saying? If fresh, they're making everybody celebrate and enjoy the cup. But Ten Hag, you have to show a whole lot more of range in the coming season because it's your final season on contract, right? Mm -hmm. So you, there is no way you can start the season with a loss. To like some baby side down in the relegation zone. There's because hot seat is an understatement at this point. Because even though you win the FA Cup, you were on the verge of being fired just before that. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying this is the season to show and prove. I just pray that he has a full healthy squad for majority of the season. So we, there's no excuses. <laughs> we're not blaming upon nothing. But your tactics and your thought process as a coach. So I hear what me and saying in regards to this scene. So Manchester United, we have heard nothing, right? Mm -hmm. They haven't made any decisions. Remember now, right? Think about it. Right before the FA Cup, all the reports came out. Ten Hag will be sacked. Yes. He has been informed Done that so. he'll be sacked. And this was coming from some credible sources in the media. You understand? Yes, Romana didn't report it or anything like that. But I found it weird. And when he, when they spoke to him about it, he never hinted that. Yeah, well, it's not like Pooch. When people ask Pochettino, yo, ho, what's going to happen? He was like, yeah. well, you got to ask the management and we'll see, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if we're seeing eye to eye. It was all those conversations. Right. West Ham, Klopp, they are all the coaches, even Zerbi. Mm-hmm. All of them get asked questions about the future and they and all so kind of left it up in the air. Yeah. Right, hinted at something. When you ask Ten Hag about the future, it's like, I want to stay. And like I said, the strongest statement I saw him say was, yo, if they don't want to win trophies with me, I can go somewhere else I'm and do what win. I've always done. Yes. And that's win trophies with somebody else. He never hinted at anything remote. And bear in mind, if somebody told you, you're getting sacked. Yeah. You're not going to come out and say, if they don't want me to win right, trophy. Right. No, that not. means that you're still under evaluation at that exactly. point. Exactly. In my opinion. You understand? Mm -hmm. And for Manchester United to take this long to make a decision, that's only telling me that they're trying to find somebody better, but if they don't find anybody better, then mm -hmm. they're going to keep him because technically he's still under contract for at least another year. Right. So, and he's not going to quit. You know, because if him quit, him not get the money. You get fired, you get paid out. You know, so he's exactly. not going to quit. But at the same time, you hear the rumors Manchester United talking to this coach, which is, to me is crazy. But mm -hmm. then again, all the a lot of the heavy hidden coaches are all in Wimbledon. Right. So they were somewhere so in the UK. Yeah. I saw Zidane there. They get a feel for what London is like. A lot of coaches, top notch coaches. Yeah. We're there. It should be easy to get a meeting. Because on the day already. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so something is going on. And for the Innes group to not make a decision as of yet, that means that, one, I'm sure they've already completed their evaluation on Ten Hag. Mm -hmm. If not, then that's just 
They just dropping the Can ball. They be trusted. They dropping the ball on that. If they have not, I'm sure that evaluation must be done already. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to see what else is out there. Like yeah. you know, and honestly, who do you go for? I mean, unless you go pick a Too legend true? from out the hat. You know what I'm saying? You don't want yeah. to go with another player turned coach. Yeah, nah. And Wayne Rooney and them not ready for this yet. No, sir. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. And Terry Henry ain't leaving the desk. He'd never. Yeah, it. No, he will leave the desk. But, but not, not for Manu. You. <laughs> your mind. Your mind tarnish the leg. That will never happen. So, so I feel like it's like, yo, they're trying to see, hey, what's better out there? Mm. Make could try and get Zidane. Make could try and get this. And if them not want it, then all right, we're going to stick with Tenag for another year. My biggest concern with sticking with Tenag for a year is just a done room what I was hinted at. His seat going to be hot from day one. Yeah. And, and, and if you don't win that first game of the season, dog, nah, they call him for your head off the Immediately. back. Immediately. In no the media, support. the fans. And if we start the season slow, bro, you're fired by midseason. But then guess what? That kind of put in a scoop in a position because now you're going to have to find a coach to come in, which in probably Toronto. won't be your permanent solution yeah, 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 and you yeah. have a whole season left. And then it turns out to be another nightmare season for Manchester United, the club, and the fans. So, I don't know where this is going or what the decision is going to be in regards to it. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know what I think? We might need to do, take a page out of the Arsenal book. You see, when ten, um, Wenger was struggling, they rebuilt the stadium. All the money was paying back the stadium fees. Make sure they have a good facility and then build up to Arteta. And the squad we have now. You see what I said? So we are going to have to entrust a coach. He might not win all the time. He might not do exactly beautiful football. But we need to build. We need to fix the stadium. Right? If we fix. don't fix or get a new stadium. Then you forgot to find someone else to play and like run out the whole stadium. Yeah. Like, this is the offseason. They should have planned in place already. We exactly. already had waterfalls up in the city. One little rainfall and the yeah, state of much. New up. facilities. We're not going to sell it. And I have no TV point. Like, come on, man. This is old Trafford. We need a new Trafford. <laughs> you know? So, like, something's got to give. Something's got to yeah, come stay, from it. We should stick with Ten Hag, my dude. I don't oh. think we're going to get better. There's nobody better. Who knows the players, the, the mood swings and the... Everything already. It's two seasons in. You know what I'm saying? Mm, true. But when you are... Right, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Mm. When you see coaches like Klopp. See, yeah. And coaches like Mourinho. And mm. them coming out and saying, Yo, the coach and the club should have done a better job supporting certain players. You know? Right. And then when you have Ten Hag came in, he already had issues with Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. He had issues with this. Issues with... Rashford issues with Sancho. What else? It's you, like, what else do you think the coach and go say if it's a rival and they're potentially out of a job, no have no home? But that wasn't by choice. The man them have they have then, they have choice. Then now the you're talking about club. Or, you're talking about club or Mourinho. Uh, Both the man and art. Hold on, stick out of a pin. Mm. Sancho is not lighting up the the Champions League, or he's not lighting up the um right the the Bundesliga, but. He's doing way better than he did at Manchester United when it just shows that he has a coach that he trusts and right. a coach that supports him. And he it got a, a better difference. squad around him mm. at, at Dortmund. He has a way better squad because the man him play beautiful football, yeah, to, creating a lot of chances and, and, and all over the field. Stick out of the Think about that. Sabitzer made it to the final. That's a player that Manchester United. We should yeah, have signed. We, we don't want you. We you should have signed. And the man made it clear. He wanted to stay at Manchester United. Yep. Manchester United was his first choice. But no, the club said, is he in? Sancho, we don't need you. You can go finals. You understand? Yeah. And they played. Sabitzer played very well. That's a head scratcher for me. So, but hey, again, and these are this is the How coach that we're supposed to trust. Him? If the players don't trust the coach, right? Mm. You already see Bruno already saying, he looked frustrated, and that's even after winning. He was, even after winning, he was just like, "Yo, I gotta see what the court club is wanted." We know Bruno wants to stay at Manchester United, but when you see so much dysfunction going on around you, 
Mm. It's only a matter of time as a player, especially as an aging player. Right. You know, Bruno isn't over. He's late twenties. His window is closing, and he wants to win. Mm -hmm. And he wants to win with Manchester United. But we got to see something from Thanks. the team, from the from the players, from the everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I just the whole this whole coaching thing. Either way, if we stick with Ten Hag, I'm gonna stand mm -hmm. by. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get off the coaching carousel. It's been years, about five years now we're on the coaching carousel. And we need to just calm down. With the same players. I know. And, and with the glaciers. We need to, we need to you remember that the constant was no, the glaciers. No, they've been gone a long time. They're not going away. They already made that clear, so they're not going to. And it was with Ed Woodward, which Ed Woodward was, in my opinion, mm. signing players to make money. Because he signed players that made sense to make money for the club. And he did because, again... According to the the reports that came out, Manchester United is still the biggest club in the world. T-shirt sales, yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggest club in the world. How? And we don't, we don't win a relevant, when I say relevant, I'm talking Champions League mm -hmm. or EPL in a minute. So, and we still, but that's because Edward Hart was a genius at that stuff. Right. But it wasn't, it wasn't equating to wins and more trophies that we want. Yeah, it's a money play. Exactly. It's a money play. So here, it's the Glaciers play. Mm -hmm. That's what they're about. So Good old American flavor. So that's why I'm saying right now, just give the inner team a chance to see what they're doing. I just feel like there's no traction on players being signed. No traction on the stadium getting updated. Yeah, I haven't heard nothing No about traction on, on, stadium. on, hey, what, are we, what is our decision on the coach? I don't, we don't know what's going on behind the scene and everybody is just here curiously waiting. It's like when a, when an episode of your favorite show come out mm. and, and the season done and you can't wait for next season yeah, when I come happen. back till next year yeah. for see what I go on and it's like, come on, man, we just want to see something. So, Innos Group, we ain't got no choice, but we put you know, we put no trust in Sir Jimmy and the Innos Group. We on. need to see some movement Let's before see you are during Euro, before the pre July 14th, when we play our first preseason game, we need to get the players in who we need in the squad before by then. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I know we get the two center about that. Ain't no reason Something. to go. Ain't no reason to go through preseason and then sign players when the season start. And, and you see, that's backwards. Another point I'm trying to make is players, other than the fact that them really love the badge. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not. They, when they look at Manchester United, they see Bruno saying stuff like, mm, "We need to see what you got." It's reeking of dysfunction. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? There's no real decision on the coach, especially if the players and the players we want to bring in don't really believe in the coach. That becomes a problem. You understand what I'm saying? So all of that is causing. It's probably going to have all of those things are related. They cause a domino effect right across Thanks. the board. So. Listen, I, I blame it all on Anthony. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? To make the coach look bad. I blame it majority of the boo the BS on Anthony. Who to say? He might have a breakout season next, next season. Year. But more what, the, the, what we've seen, it's all your fault, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I mean, for all this money. And then money, you're going to say, see what, we're stick to signing English players. We don't sign a Brazilian. you be signing the wrong Brazilians, <laughs> man. Brazilian? <laughs> no way, he's Brazilian. Not that tricky. <laughs> Yo, you know who we remind of as a guy. make a breakout season next uh, season, boy. I, I, I mean, fingers crossed, we get that. <laughs> who we remind you? The youth who used to play midfield for women from Brazil too. He hardly get no game though. Bench player. Anderson? Yes. <laughs> he, you know. He remind me of Anderson. Dad. But Anderson what Anderson contributed. Just like how he did. Couple goals. Who scored? He actually scored one goal. He scored in the early season. Yeah, EPL, but he scored in, in the Cups. Hey. He scored a couple in the Cups, man. That's why we win. That's why we won. Anderson right? contributed more because Fergie trusted him. 
Anderson was not a you know you see who he over had a Do you Where's see who he had a role But Fergie still played him. Because he didn't have to do nothing. 90% of the game that he didn't do. Shit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the man have Ferdinand Vintage behind him. The man have Scolzi Giggs on the left. Make him. What is he doing? Anderson is a control pass. Two touch. You <laughs> move out the way, bro. Part G song. You move out the way. That's the type of hard game I see Anthony need to do. Control pass. Move out the way. Excuse me. <laughs> well, hopefully him, 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 him get him feet wet. Him get one That's season under him belt now. So he should be comfy in England. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, let's see and hope for the best, man. That's, mm. all, that's all we can do. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're very optimistic about the upcoming season. Whether it's with Tenog or without Tenog. We know we're going to have some new players because a couple players already left. So we're going to see what happens. Yeah. But I'm ready to see some action and see what's going on. So, nice. But yeah, man, this is the first part of the off-season shows that we have in. So you don't know, this is your boy, right? 2012, that's your boy. Don Rumba, and make sure you stick around for the Euro coverage. Mm -hmm. You know a ball game we've sent that around. around Unbiased. You know what I said? Um, He's be cheering for Italy. I'll yeah. be cheering for yeah. the motherland, England. <laughs> Brazil, not there, Europe. I hear you, I hear you. in Europe, so I can't cheer for them. I feel you. But I got to cheer for the tree lions. The British, okay. The tree lions. It's yeah. gonna be a warm time. Yep. Anyway, y'all. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We out.